안녕하세요 에리스 키친 친구분들 Today I will make three different kinds of cheese sticks using leftover dumpling wrappers and delicious hot dog kimbap for our boys lunch box First let's make these tasty dumpling wrapper cheese sticks called mandu pi cheese stick in Korean Prepare the dumpling wrappers We also need the cheese strings if you don't have them, maybe you could use mozzarella cheese instead. Divide the cheese strings into 3 pieces each to get 9 pieces total. Along with the plain cheese sticks, I will also make bacon cheese sticks and hot pepper cheese sticks. So cut the bacon into right size that you can roll one piece of the cheese stick. Chop the green hot pepper and red hot pepper into little pieces and mix them all together. All the ingredients are prepared, so let's put them together. Place one piece of the dumpling wrapper on a plate and put some water all around the edge of the dumpling wrapper. This will help the cheese stick to seal well later. Put a piece of cheese on the dumpling wrapper and wrap the cheese with the dumpling wrapper like this. Put some more water onto the dumpling wrapper, then roll the cheese stick to seal it tightly. You can do the same process with other types of cheese sticks too. So this one is for bacon cheese stick. And this one is for hot pepper cheese stick. Make rest of the cheese stick, three each of plain bacon and hot pepper cheese sticks. On a heated pan with a cooking oil, put all the cheese sticks and fry them for about 5 minutes on medium high. Every now and then, roll the pieces to fry all the other sides until they become golden brown. Okay, let's move on to the next recipe. So, we will make hot dog kimbap called sausage kimbap in Korean. Fry two pieces of your favorite hot dog. I recommend you get about 6 to 7 inch hot dogs for this recipe. Break the eggs and mix them with the salt. Fry flat egg. If you have a square pan, it is the best. However, if you have a normal round shaped pan, you can also use it too. Divide the fried egg into 4 pieces and each piece will be about 3.5 by 3.5 inch square piece. By now, the hot dogs will be fried nicely, so cut them in half. Prepare the dried liver for kimbap and divide them in half lengthwise. We also need some green leaf lettuce. Add the cooked short grain rice, the salt, the sesame oil, the sesame seed into a mixing bowl. Mix everything well and divide them into four portions. Place a piece of dried liver on a bamboo mat and spread one portion of the rice all the way up to the top except for a remaining about two inch of empty space. Next, put the lettuce on the rice. You also need to leave a little bit of space on the rice without covering it all with the lettuce. This way, it helps the kimbap from the shape tightly and neatly. Put a piece of the fried egg on the lettuce, then put the hot dog on the egg. Now roll the kimbap tightly. At the end of the rolling, you will get the dried labor part without anything on it. So put a little bit of water onto it, so it will help the kimbap seal it well. Finish rolling with your hands, and then roll the kimbap with a bamboo mat one more time. Squeeze it gently to form the kimbap shape graciously. If you love sesame oil flavor, then you can brush a little bit of it onto the kimbap surface before cutting it. Finally, slice the kimbap into your desired size. To assemble the lunch box, today I will use this 3 compartment glass container I got from Amazon. 
So this is how I pack the lunch boxes for our boys. Please try this delicious bandupi cheese stick and sausage kimbap someday. And if you do, take some pictures and share them with me on Instagram or Facebook because I love to see your pictures. Thank you for watching. See you soon again. Bye.